our next speakers, Mr. Craig Stoll and his wife, Berta, a military veteran, a Republican, with a gay family member, his brother. They come all the way from New Hampshire to be with us here today. Craig Stoll. What a wonderful, momentous day. Craig and I are so honored and so happy to be with you all today. Thank you so much, everyone. Uh, we always figured that my brother was gay, but it wasn't until Thanksgiving 2007 that he came out. He and I were discussing life, and I mentioned that a friend had told me his relationship status had changed on Facebook. And uh, my mom's mom, Dar, must have been going off because it was almost like she just appeared in the room with a barrage of questions about who this mysterious person could be. And as she went on, you could see the fear building up in Calvin's eyes. And I knew I had probably gotten him into something that he wasn't ready for that day. But uh, my mom knows her kids really well, and she always knows the right things to say. And she, she looked at him and she said, is it a boy, Calvin? Because if it's a boy, it's okay. And you could just see the wall that he had built up starting to crumble. And she said the same thing again. Is it a boy, Calvin? Because if it's a boy, it's okay. And then you saw the wall crash down as he cried out, Yes! Yes, it's a boy! Hearing the commotion, my dad came in the room. And he turned to Calvin and he said, nothing has changed between us. We love you the same, no matter what. You are our son. When I look at my brother, I can't help but want him to have the same rights I have. But the courage he showed that day stripped away some of the most basic freedoms that many of us take for granted. The idea that loving and committed same-sex couples shouldn't be allowed to marry is flat-out wrong and un-American. As a Marine, I do not take freedom lightly. And as a Republican, I really do believe in limited government. I can't even imagine what it must be like to have someone say you can't get married. I look at my wife, and I think back to Roe v. Wade, and it just, it kills me to think that people had to go through that. And to see it happening today, it needs to end. It needs to end. When Berta and I got married, Calvin was standing there right next to me as my best man. And let me tell you something. When he's ready to get married, I'm going to be standing there right next to him. Calvin, I want you to know that we love you so much. We could not be more proud of the man you have become. And no one, I mean no one, has the right to take away your freedoms. Thank you very much, everyone.